guys, welcome to the second vlog of 2022. We're on a roll. Um, the first one will be up by now. This one will be up a week later. Um, yeah, it is Tuesday today. I didn't vlog yesterday. Um, Chris was off yesterday and to be honest, we just had quite a busy day just doing bits and bobs. Yeah, we like did a food shop. I had a tip run to do. I had to move things out of my car, like it was, I had orders, like it was just quite a lot of like um, just cracking on with stuff um, and I did the gym in the morning so I looked like a bit of a toad the whole day. So yeah, didn't pick up my camera yesterday and obviously now you can see it is like night time so it is Tuesday. Um, you'll have seen I was out with my mum today. Today was my first day back shooting proper content as in like going out and getting photos out of the house. Um, which was actually, it went better than planned. Usually the first one back after some time off over Christmas, eating lots of junk and stuff. Like I usually am just like hating everything. Um, maybe I'm just kinder to myself this year, who knows. Um, but yeah, went and got the content I needed to get. Went for a little coffee with my mum as well um, because I also wanted to get a wee picture in the shop, in the coffee shop. Um, so we went in for a wee coffee and then I, well my mum had seen some bits in um, Primark home. Um, it's like a big candle and stuff I'm going to show you in a minute. So she was like why don't we go while we're in anyway and then also I had seen cushion covers on H&M that I was going to order and I seen that they were in line. Oh, I seen that they were in stock online in the Glasgow store so I went and picked them up as well. Um, and it is currently coming up to half five. I've got a gym class tonight so I'm going to go to spin with my mum tonight. So I need to quickly go upstairs, put all my shit away that I've had out. Um, like all my like clothes that I was shooting today, I need to go and put them away. And um, sort of this new stuff I bought. So I will quickly show you what I got. So I'll do H&M first, also ignore the winter dyke in the background. Chris has obviously put that up because that's his stuff that's on that. Got this gorgeous candlestick holder. So I've actually got black um, candlesticks that I got, um, but I didn't have any holders. Um, I've been looking for one that's, like I, I kind of have in my head like, what I was looking for. And this is exactly it. I was going to get more than one, but I decided to just get this one, see how I get on. I kind of would like the equivalent of this, but a wee bit smaller and black so they can sit next to each other on the TV unit. Um, and then this is the cushion that I wanted, the cushion cover. I sit here, it's like the cream and black. Obviously, you guys will know by now that this is the vibe I'm going for. Um, that was only three ninety nine. Like, how amazing is that? Um, there was other ones that I wanted to get as well but I couldn't find them in store. Um, I'm trying not to buy like more than one of each cushion cover because I feel like I don't really know what I'm doing. Like, this is for the living room um, or potentially in here. I can't decide. I'll play about with it but I don't have any inserts. They don't have any of the pillow inserts like the pillowcase inserts in there so I'm going to need to order some online. Um, or my mum said Danelle and have them but yeah, thought that was absolutely gorgeous. So got that. There wasn't really anything else that was catching my eye. And in Primark, I actually just picked up some forest green. They look black on there, but they're actually green leggings and some tote leggings. These are only a fiber, guys, and they're like such good thick rib material. I've actually got these myself. Um, and they're for a shoot. We're doing a Lala shoot next week and they're for the models. So I just picked them up because I was needing them for like styling. Like, wait till you see the candles I got on here. Oh, you can see my um, blinds and that. It is dark tube rose. And the reason I picked, they're all black candles by the way. Um, I don't like this, so I'm going to take that off. That won't be sitting on it. But look, it's a black candle. Like most black candles are so, so expensive. This was only nine pounds. Yeah, nine pounds. And it's so fresh smelling like so so nice just think that'll be really nice sitting out again either on my um tv unit or my little what's that little thing my little footstool these are all from well it was a bit close wasn't it these are all from the same range so this is how cute is this it's like such chic packaging this is a pack of three candles these are seven pounds and it's like these little um black candles like this so again, they're like black there. I'll probably turn them around so they're just plain. Like I'm not really into all that kind of gold writing. Um, but they smell absolutely stunning. Um, and really expensive considering they're like only £7. What is that noise? And then for the absolute star of the show, Linda, I actually seen this on Primark online. Um, look at this, guys. This is a big candle tray. I'm sorry, but how expensive does that look? It also smells unreal. It's like pomegranate, 
which is like my favourite scent. This tray, candle tray, was only £12. So I'm either thinking it'll sit on along the TV unit underneath where the TV is going to be or on the middle of my dining table. But what little bargains they all wear. I'm so chuffed with them all. Um, so yeah, just thought I would give you a little haul at the start to show you some bits that I've been picking up because when I put on my Instagram what you guys wanted to see most on YouTube, everyone was like, just what you're buying for the house, keep giving us updates on the house, um, home hauls, all that kind of stuff. So there's my little home haul. I'll probably put some of these snippets of this up on my Instagram as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought I would show you on here. I better now go and um, shift all the stuff that's sitting at the bottom of my stairs, put them away, get my gym clothes on and I've got a spin class. So I probably won't speak to you now until tomorrow. So welcome to this week's vlog guys. I hope you enjoy it. I don't know what we're going to be doing the rest of this week. Um, I've got vinyl coming on Thursday for the bathrooms. Um, tomorrow I've got somebody coming for wardrobes potentially. Um, I'll give you the update about that in the morning. And what else? Oh, I was going to do a little um, how to plan your week's morning routine, all that jazz this week. Um, but because my planners haven't arrived yet, so I decided to actually not do that until uh, next week. So there'll be a bit of everything again this week, um, but you guys seem to be enjoying it. So yeah, stick around if you want to see what I got to this week. That was the quickest turnaround of my whole entire life. So quick that I actually just fell down the stairs. And my life flashed before my eyes, which was quite scary. Um, I was trying to like jump over this jacket actually, and rather than jump over it, I put my foot on it, and I literally just slipped down about four or five steps. So not four or five flights of stairs, four or five um, actual steps. So yeah, that was a wee bit scary. But I need to go because it's spin, and I like to get my bike. I usually would take my makeup off. I don't actually have time, so at least I'm not going to be scaring the other people that spin for a change. Or the gym in general for a change so yeah this jacket is from misguided by the way it's like a playboy misguided one i really wanted to get a north face i actually asked my mom to get me a north face um when she was in florida and she couldn't find the style i wanted so yeah i've just scrapped that now and i've decided that it's probably not gonna be cold well it's gonna be cold till march but anyways i'll get one next year so yeah this is my wee puffer jacket that i wear to the gym or i wear my black jelly instead but i don't know why i'm bothering telling you guys this right now because i'm in a rush I um, might speak to you when I get back for the gym or I might just catch up with you in the morning. Okie dokie, bye. Morning. I'm currently speaking to a girl who conquered her fear and went to the gym for the first time in her 26 years of life, confidently, herself. Um, well, let's break that down a wee bit. Also, wow, I really don't look my best this morning, do I? Um, so obviously I've been to the gym for years and years and years, on and off, had PTs, went to classes, went to classes on my own, went with friends, like, you name it, I've done it. Um, but literally going into the gym, I've been in the gym on like the gym floor and used weights and all that myself before, but it was always very sporadic. I was always like very nervous, up to high dough, didn't really enjoy it, would do like random things. There was never like structure to it. Um, most of the time I would kind of start on like a treadmill just because I was so scared to like go anywhere else um, whereas obviously I've started with my PT now and I train with her twice a week and then I've got two sessions I have to do on my own so I've done all the sessions with her so I've like been to the machines I've set them up um, well she set them up showing me what to do so I wasn't like totally going in blind basically um, but today it was the first day that I had set aside and I said I would train myself. Now usually I would go, yeah, yeah, I'm going, I'm going to go. And then I'd get up and then I would be like, oh, do you know what, I'll put it off and I'll, I'll go later. And then before you know it's later and then it's going to, I'm going to be too busy now and then I just wouldn't go. Um, or like I'd be like, oh, do you know what, I'll just go to class or something instead, something that I'm comfortable doing. But I was like, do you know what, Laura? This is what this is my goal. My goal this year is to be a confident gym bunny and I'm gonna smash it. So one, I really like the gym that I go to, I feel really comfortable in it. The time that I want to go at I knew it wasn't going to be extremely busy. Um and like I said, I've done the programme with Louise, so I wasn't like overly nervous. I kinda knew what I was doing, so I wasn't overly nervous about that. I got up this morning, I was like, I'm gonna go for half eight-ish. I got there I left the house about half eight, so I got there like it's literally five minutes from my house, this gym. Um, so I wasn't like I got there quite quickly. 
put my headphones in and I just went in. I knew exactly what machine I was going to I just got it done. And I'm honest, I was quite gobsmacked myself. Like every exercise I was going through, it's like all written down for me and like what weights I have to use and I was just like there was a couple ones where I was like, oh, oh I need to go get that and then I was like, oh, I don't know where that is and then I was like, do you know what? Take a deep breath. Just going to do it. And that's what I did. And do you know what? I feel a million times better for it. The only exercise I never managed to do was leg press. Um, and it was because every time I turned around, somebody was on it. Um, and I was quite tight for time this morning. So one exercise I didn't do, but I would have been confident going and doing it. And that's the main thing. So yeah, really chuffed for myself. It's all about the wee small wins in it. And it's made my day that I've went and done that. And now I've actually got, I've came home and I've had to like run about tidying up a wee bit. Today's like my main day for like cleaning the whole house, top to bottom. I want to gut it. Um, and I've also got somebody coming out to measure up for wardrobes potentially. I know I was talking about getting IKEA wardrobes, um, which I've not fully decided I'm not doing. Um, I basically just want to kind of weigh up my options. Basically some of the things I wanted from IKEA were out of stock. Um, and I'm also kind of wanting them built in. And it just was becoming like a wee bit more of like a task rather than like an easy solution. And then I was like, do you know what? I've not even looked into getting actual fitted wardrobes from a company. So um, I thought I would get some prices um, and then kind of decide from there. But hopefully I'll make a decision this week because I really want my wardrobe sorted. Um, but yeah, um, that's all I've really got to update you on this morning. Um, I hope me sharing that I was an absolute, like, stress head when I used to go to the gym and like you're such a nervous wee person don't be wrong I'm still nervous but it's just I just don't know if I'm just older now and I just don't care as much but I, I still am quite nervous but it's not the way I was when I was younger like I, I used to get this like my heart would be pounding at my chest so much so that I'd maybe sometimes go I drive all the way into town go on the treadmill for literally 15 20 minutes and then kind of look around me and be like oh that oh that's not free oh that's not free never really had a plan of action and we just go oh that's enough for today and then just leave um, so me sharing that I hope that encourages you as well so the guy that came out for the wardrobes was really really lovely and promising all the kind of things we've been talking about so hopefully I should have a decision on wardrobes by the end of this week but I thought I would just show what we're doing just now so my mum's came over today because I really wanted to like let's say hinge my house hinge my house Um and I've not, well I've been, obviously I've been cleaning and I did a really big clean on Christmas Eve and on New Year's Eve but I haven't been able to like pull all the stuff out because a lot of this is quite heavy so my mum was like I'll come over we can do it together type thing so we've pulled out the sofa um, and we're getting right in and cleaning, mopping, hoovering the lot. Uh, but I just thought I would show you my sofa from the back because how stunning is it? Like, see if eventually, I'm, I'm talking about moving already, kidding on, I'm actually not. Um, but eventually, if we had like a big open plan kitchen space with a, a little TV area, this would be so nice to sit like this, wouldn't it? So nice, I love it. Um, and obviously, our TV unit and everything. So, we've just got everything sitting everywhere. But oh, we're also playing about with the new cushions. We're trying to decide what we want them to sit. But I just thought I would give you a wee overview of the living room. I know it's a wee bit, everyone's everywhere, but you can see the back of the couch and more of my phone as well. I love the feet. Can you show I love the feet on my phone. Linda's asked if I can show you my feet on the floor, on the couch. There. I know, because sometimes you don't really get to see them. I wonder if I can show you from this side as well. Obviously, I've got my big mirror. Everyone asks me constantly about this mirror and I can understand why, because it is such a feature. Um, it's £80 from Ikea, but they've actually upped the price in the new year, so it's now £90. And I believe it's the 110 centimetres one. It's definitely the biggest one you can get of the two sizes. I think it's a Lindum. Lind, is Lind something? I'll um, write in the comments or I'll write down below the, um, or leave the link for you because I get a lot of questions about this. And then while I'm here, the lamp, that's from Next as well. Um, little basket, can't remember. Oh, B&M, B&M, little basket was from. And I've got loads of different um, blankets in there. And then obviously this is the couch from this side. You can see the feet. Um, I'm thinking about getting a black pelmet because I was originally going to get big curtains but now I feel like a pelmet maybe would be nicer um, and this is huh, I know <laughs> Chris, is, Chris claims that he needs to f foam roll every night because and I get the pleasure of watching him do it on the floor as I'm trying to sit and enjoy my TV or just chill um, 
but he's got that and there's also one for his feet, the wee, green, the wee green thing over there and he gets like sore arches or something in his feet. <laughs> That's quite funny. Um, and another thing I constantly asked about is this uh, footstool. This is from DFS. Quite a lot of people are like, oh, is this like a new thing you've bought? I ordered this when I bought the um, Lexia sofa and the idea was for it to obviously be in this room. Um, potential for it to go in the kitchen, but I just love it in here. Um, so yeah, I think this is kind of what we're going to have rather than a coffee table. And I can't wait for the media wall. I keep saying media wall. It's not a media wall, as in like, we're not having like a fireplace, TV built in, walls built out, shelves. That's not what we're doing. It's more of a feature wall. There's going to be some like panelling. It's going to be really cool. I'm really excited for that. So it's quite a few hours later and I actually meant to do this when it was light outside, but I did it on my phone and see because right now I'm trying to do like Instagram, YouTube, Reels, homepage, normal page, business page, like... You name it, I'm doing it right now. <laughs> um, um, yeah, I basically just forgot to do a little YouTube update. So the room is obviously looking really nice and cosy. Um, a lot of people always ask what paint is on the walls. This is just what Barrett use. Um, but on this site anyway, I know on other sites they'd use more of a white paint. Um, this is just kind of off-white, which to be honest, I really prefer. Um, it would have been what I would have changed the walls to anyway. So the fact that they're like this from the beginning is great. And it's um, the Dulux paint and it's almond white, just in case anyone's interested. I will eventually paint the house, but probably not for about a year, just because obviously the settling and cracking and stuff. Just don't see there's any point in this painting or wallpapering them just now. But yeah, I thought I would show you the room now. It's all nice and tidy and clean because I know I didn't do very many um, home updates in the last vlog. Start over here. My blinds are from Galaxy Blinds. All of the blinds in the house are from Galaxy Blinds and I cannot recommend them enough. This little tray candle, I did a little haul of all the bits I picked up yesterday at Primark and also in an H&M. This is from Primark Home and it was £12 I believe but how nice is that? Like such a wee feature. Um, I was going to sit it on the TV unit um, but I've decided I just put it there for just now and I really love it. And then as we go over here, these two candle holders, I get a lot of questions about these. Um, these are from Mariki Bianchi, I hope I'm pronouncing that okay. I actually was kindly gifted these way back in the summer. And um, that's me just obviously now that all the Christmas decorations are down, getting around to putting them up. And then over here, this vase is Matalan and then this um, candle holder is the one I got from H&M yesterday. And this black candle is also from H&M. Um, it comes in a set of four or five, I believe. Our TV unit is from Ikea. It's actually two um, Besta units and we've just sat them together and they're going to be up on the wall um, and part of the kind of feature wall that we're doing so yeah and it's the black brown colour if anyone is interested in that honestly like so impressed with this because I feel like it looks very expensive and it honestly wasn't expensive at all I think it was like 170 175 pound for this full unit um which I mean I think it looks brilliant so that's that. Since it's nice and clean and tidy in here, I thought I would give you a little overview of the sofa since I'm getting a lot of questions um, about seeing the full sofa. Um, a lot of you guys are like, please show your full sofa because I only kind of show snippets of it. This is the Logano Corner from Dwell and it's in the Kalida fabric and the shade is Ivory. I think a lot of people think, oh my god, you're mental having like a cream couch, but honestly, we literally sit with blankets every night, um, just kind of throw them over the couch, and we always make sure we're not wearing anything that's like not being like maybe like black jeans that haven't been washed in like that. But to be honest, so far so good. So let's keep our fingers crossed it stays that way. Put some of my cushions here and here. So these are the cushions that I showed you in the little IKEA haul. Um, so they're IKEA. That was the one I got yesterday. And then the one in the middle is also Ikea. Then this one and this one are from Sterling. I bought them back in the summer as well. And as you can see, it's like kind of like velvety black on the front and then um, a linen on the back. And then the ball in the corner was kindly a gift from my neighbour Lynn. Um, I'm honestly like so chuffed. I've wanted one of these for ages and every time I went into um, Silver Birch, I was obsessed with them and she kindly got us one for moving into our house and I'm so chuffed with it. So thank you, Lynn. That is everything in here. The whole house is spick and span now. Like I've done every inch of the house. I'm just doing the little kind of healthy burger and chips dinner tonight. Um, look at me pretending I'm Nigella. Um, 
but I just thought I would show you how I do these healthy chips. So basically, I buy baked potatoes and I cut them up. Um, they're like quite small baked potatoes, so I did three between me and Chris. Um, and just cut them all up into like little chip shapes. And then I boil them. And then once they have boiled, I then put them on to a baking tray. And then use your spray light. This is the one calorie spray. So I do quite a few sprays of that. And then salt and pepper. Sometimes I put chilli on these, so they're like, um, obviously like salt and chilli chips, which is really nice as well, but sometimes it can be a wee bit spicy, so um, I'm just doing salt and pepper today. Also this is really nice and simple, I'm sure a lot of you know to do this anyway. So on my meal plan I'm allowed so many grams of potato um, with my dinner, so rather than just having a potato, um, I, I just sometimes do this. Which just makes it even more exciting rather than just one big potato. Um, and like I said, it's really, really good for you, so. I had some filming to do this afternoon. I actually was filming um, how I've been styling my hair recently. I got one of those blow brushes. Um, I'll maybe use it over, will I wash my hair over again over the weekend or will I bun in it? Maybe I'll, maybe I'll make a wee bit of effort and have like kind of sleek hair for like Saturday or Sunday when I'm going out. Sorry, I'm having a pure conversation with myself. But um, basically, I'll try and show you in the vlog at some point how I use this tool. Because it's honestly so good. Like, I love that kind of full hair but it's not like too bouncy and I find like see when you're doing like a bouncy blow drying yourself it's so hard um and also it's quite time consuming like getting the brush going and then sometimes you need to pin it and all that kind of stuff whereas this tool lets just smooths all your hair out it gives you like a kind of fullness that you can see my hair isn't like pure straight at the bottom it's like full um but it takes like literally less than 15 minutes which is so good it's also like less heat and all that on your hair so if your new year's resolution is to like get long thick hair then it will help you achieve that because it's not a lot of heat and all that which is really really good and um, also while i'm on here i got some questions about these earrings um on instagram the other day they're from inspired edition um inspired source if you follow me on instagram you'll know i talk about them quite a lot i get a lot of my dupe bags from there um and she also has inspired edition um, so inspired sources like if you want a specific bag she can find it for you um and like inspired edition she does um like jewelry she does, i think she does sell bags on there as well but she does like sunglasses and everything and she's bloody lovely by the way so um if you are interested in getting any wee bits then I recommend going on there. So it's just gone two o'clock. Um, I have been non-stop all day. With the eyes ending the vinyl this morning, I wasn't sure what time they were coming. It's one of those ones where it was like an all day. You have to basically stay in the house. So I didn't plan anything for today. Um, I planned to just basically have like a filming day um, and like not leave the house. So that I was in the house just in case they came later. But they actually came quite sharp, which was good. So that's us now got flooring in the main bathroom and the um, en suite. So yay, no more plywood, bogging bathroom, hating life, like yeah, the bathrooms were getting, starting to get to me a bit because I just felt they were so unfinished, but like I've mentioned about 400 times, I wasn't sure what I was doing, um, and I'm not going to lie, like we were in to pick vinyl, I wanted like a herringbone vinyl, I'd seen one, I think I've mentioned, I've seen one in the show home, um, and I liked it, but it was extremely overpriced for the actual size of the space, so I was like, I'll source that at another date, um, and yeah, I've kind of had that fixated in my head for a while. I was actually looking when we went to the shop, you'll have seen in last week's vlog, that um, there was a few flooring samples and there was a black one that I really liked and I was like, oh, that could be like interesting. But then I'm thinking, you know what, I might like save all the weird and wonderful ideas for when I actually do the bathrooms up. Um, when I say do the bathrooms, I'm we're probably going to do our own suite. Um, end of this year early next year probably more than likely going to be the start of next year or into next year at some point and um, so like i said the now we're like sprucing them right up and um, making them really nice and functional so i can't decide if i'm going to show you the bathrooms or not right because there's nothing wrong with them but they're just very light like i said there was no tile upgrades the tiles are really nice but they're not maybe it's there's literally nothing wrong with my bathroom, right? There's really nothing wrong with my bathrooms. Everyone thinks I'm absolutely insane, right? But see, because I have in my head, kind of, you know that when you get in your head what you like, what you would like, um, 
yeah, it's just basically not that. So that's why I'm a bit like, hmm. Like I said, we're making them nice and functional. I've got my dad, bless his cotton socks, he's coming straight after work today to put up my cabinets. He started building them for me on Sunday. Well, he built one of them because I only bought one to make sure I liked it. And then I was like, yeah, I definitely like that. So I went and got the second one. Um, quite expensive by with my IKEA, but it's going to be like... I feel like I'm a kid at Christmas today. I feel like I woke up this morning and I was like, oh, I'm excited. And I was like, what am I excited about? And I was like, my dad's coming to do my cabinets because I just love everything being nice and organised. It means I can start filming like my skincare and that for you guys, my nighttime routine. Like right now, my nighttime routine consists of me trying to put moisturiser on in the bathroom and then run into the dressing room because there's only that's where I've got a mirror, I don't have a mirror anywhere else. Um, and yeah, it's just not, it's not very functional. So um, he's coming tonight. And I'm so buzzing, he's going to put my two cabinets up. Um, he's going to put the one up in the ensuite. He was also going to be putting up like bathroom fittings, like um, toilet roll holders and um, what else, towel rails and things. Because again, I didn't buy them because I wasn't sure what I was doing. Um, but the ones I've picked are the ones that I probably will just have, even if we do do the bathrooms up. So I was like, you know what, just get more. This one, we're on the couch last night. Um, we're watching The Tourist. Have I mentioned this in the vlog? I don't know if I have. It's so good. Um, it's one of those ones where I've still, I've no idea what's going on in it, as in like, I can't figure out what's going to happen. Um, I love that. It's got Jamie, is it Doran? Is that how you say his name? Mr. Grey, basically, he's in it. He's very handsome in this, actually, because um, he's not usually my cup of tea, but he's, um, he is quite handsome in this. So we've been watching that, and it was about quarter past nine last night, and I was lying there, and I was absolutely shattered. I think it's a combination of going back to the gym, um, and obviously I have been getting up really quite early every day, um, and I just don't sit down like I don't know like when I was in mum and dad's house I'd get all my work done um, and then like doing things around the house like keeping my room and that tidy I, I, I did do but I'd put things off whereas I just can't put things off in this house like I'm constantly I just don't sit down unless I'm sitting down to do work I don't sit down and that's usually in the morning um, so yeah we, we were both kind of shattered last night so we went up to bed I sat on my phone for a wee bit before I went to my bed, but I must have been sleeping for just after 10. So I woke up at four in the morning and was really startled because Chris wasn't next to me and I knew he was working earlier today. So I was like, have I slept through my alarm? And I was like, oh my God, like, cause I knew these vinyl guys were coming. Checked my phone, it was like just, just after four. And I was like, where the hell is he? So he was the same. We both kind of woke up early cause I think we thought we just went to our bed a wee bit too early last night. Um, so I sat on my phone for a bit an hour and then I went back to sleep. So um, when my alarm went off about, I think it went off about quarter past seven, I was like, no, no, no. I'm going back to sleep for 45 minutes. So that is what I did. I had a nice slow morning. I worked on lots of Lala bits for the spring summer, which is exciting. I started editing this vlog. I had quite a lot of admin things just to catch up on. Um, I was looking at potentially going away to Manchester at the end of this month, so I was looking into things for that. So yeah, that's why I didn't really vlog this morning, because I was just pottering about, and then I had some filming and um, content to shoot this afternoon, so I went and got that done. I'm go sit and enjoy my coffee while I edit this um, hair tutorial and send it over for approval, and then I think I might nip out and try to get to the dump um, before my dad gets here. He'll probably be here back at four. Um, and I was potentially going to go out and see if I can get a walk in because I've not really been that good to my steps. It's going to be Friday tomorrow already guys and I'm like where the hell has this week went? It's just the weeks are already flying. Welcome to my little bathroom guys. This is the main bathroom. You're currently in my new cabinets. Um, it's been quite a few days since I last spoke to you. I think I actually spoke to you. Was that Thursday? Friday? What happened Friday? Um, I just did the gym and then I actually got to see like my nana and stuff in the afternoon so it was just a wee bit of a family day so I never bothered vlogging. Saturday I went out with the girls um, and I tried to vlog a wee bit but to be honest I was just really enjoying um, catching up. We went to Oscars in the south side for a little brunch if you've not been um, and you're from Glasgow obviously then I definitely recommend that. It was really really nice. Sunday, well long story short basically I had like three coffees on um, Saturday when I was out, well one in the morning and then two when I was out. So yeah, not to say I don't have three coffees. To be honest, I'm actually alright with the little coffee pods I have in the house, but for some reason the coffee, I think to be fair we went to a little coffee shop right and it was um, it really specialised in their coffee. So I think it was quite a strong coffee that I had. Um, I think that just tipped me over the edge to be honest. So I was feeling very anxious by night time. And then on Sunday, I still couldn't really shake it. Was feeling really, really stressed out. Um, 
a wee bit down if I'm honest. So I tried to kind of shake that on Sunday, but then I woke up, like, I, so I sat on Sunday night, planned out my whole week. I was trying to get myself the most facey for another really good week. And then yesterday I woke up and to be honest, pretty much all my plans just went to shit because I was just feeling... Just, I just, I was just feeling a wee bit out of sorts and I'm feeling a wee bit stressed about my physical appearance and loads of different things so I'm not going to bore you guys with all the nitty gritty bits but basically um, I just haven't vlogged for a few days. I managed to get out a big walk yesterday though and make the most of my day um, and I actually ticked quite a few things off my to-do list in the end which was good and today I've had a really productive day. I went out and shot content this morning, um, I went to my PT really early. I've literally, you might be wondering, maybe I should have pointed this out at the beginning, why I look absolutely insane. Um, I'm going to insert a photo of what I looked like before I went my walk and yeah the, the rain and the wind just went absolutely mental when I was out. But I'm really really trying to smash my step goal every day this week because um, I've got like a little form that I fill out with my PT every week and my steps last week were lacking quite a bit um, I never managed to get 10k every day and yeah I think that kind of was partly why I was feeling a bit shit because I just felt like I hadn't. Um, I was doing really well in the gym and stuff um, and my eating's been good but yeah, I feel like the steps I let me down last week and I was a bit annoyed at myself. So I am not going to have that issue this week. I got over, I think I got 14,000 yesterday. Um, I've just went out and got my 10k there. So yeah, that's why I look like a little drowned rat. Um, but the reason you're in my beauty cabinet is because I'm going to do a hair mask. So I just thought I would show you what one I'm using. Because it's like a four o'clock just now. So I'm going to put my hair mask in, work about for the rest of the evening. And then I'm going to jump in the shower get um, my hair all washed and then I'm going to come back and show you like the products I use in my hair and then also a kind of like mini um, routine of what kind of skincare products I've been using as well because I know you guys have been asking for things like that so I thought I would include it to end this little part of the vlog off. Also ignore my nails, I stress picked them off at the weekend, very annoyed at myself for that um, but we're getting them done on Thursday. Thank God. Um, but yeah, this is going to be the hair mask I'm going to try out. So with me moving house, obviously I tried to like whittle down a lot of the products I had. Um, really chuffed with my new setup by the way because I have really like cut back on all of the products I own which is good. Also when I was moving though it also meant that I found products that I've never actually used before. So this is a caffeinated hair mask. So I am going to, do you know what I'll do? I'll take all my rings off because I don't want bits and bobs going on that. Um, it's the only time I actually take my engagement ring off is when I go in the shower or um, I'm doing like skincare and stuff. So let's get quite a general. Oh, right, that's quite a lot, isn't it? And we're just going to whack this oh, all on my hair. It smells really minty, this. I'm just going to put this all the way through my hair and then get my hair up in a bun. Okay, so as you can see, we have washed out the hair mask. My camera actually died on me, guys, as I was finishing applying the hair mask. And I sat with it on for just over an hour and a half, um, and then I've just went in the shower and washed it all out, shampoo and conditioned my hair. Um, and now I'm going to use the products in my hair that I use. So I tend to wash my hair once or twice a week. Um, sometimes three times but that's only maybe if like I need to um, usually it's like once twice a week max if you've watched my videos for a while or you follow me on you follow me on YouTube follow me on Instagram and um, you'll know that I have been on a bit of a hair journey for the past few years Um, my hair used to be naturally really really long and thick Um, it was in really good condition considering I was blonde etc etc long story short changed hairdressers Um, got bleach on my ends which then kind of like made my ends go all wispy and then got hair extensions the worst of my life um, which just thinned my hair right out. I'm not saying that all hair extensions do that but my, my experience the hair extensions weren't great. Basically then went back to my original hairdresser who's Kerry. Kerry's done my hair for years um, and I've been back with her now for like three years and we've literally just been on such a hair journey. So gave myself a complete refresh, cut all the dead ends off and I've just been growing it ever since. It grew quite a lot in the first lockdown so when I went back it was long but it was like thinner so I cut it loads as well. I put some photos in actually of what my hair was like in November, December last year because it's grown so much since then and it's in such good condition. Like my mum was actually doing that to me today. Um, I had my hair all down and curled and she was like your hair is starting to look the way it used to look. I'm super chuffed. But the reason I am giving you this full backstory is because I'm not here to show you all these products and say your hair is going to magically grow. Um, to be honest, I rarely use anything on my hair. Um, I usually let my hair air dry um, to avoid putting too much heat on it. My hair kind of goes naturally curly though so what I tend to do is let it air dry and then I'll blast it kind of straighter in the morning um, just to smooth it all out which really just minimises the amount of heat on my hair and then I only tend to style my hair when I am either going out or shooting content which is usually like once 
to twice a week. Um, I like to try and not really style my hair too much. Like for instance, yesterday my hair was slightly curled from the weekend, so I just brushed it out, um, dry shampooed it and went out. So yeah, I don't like overly style my hair. So the main thing I would honestly say is um, not using too much heat on your hair. But obviously some products do help along the way. So um, again, keeping them really, really basic. I do hair masks every, like, maybe like once, twice a month max. Um, don't have any particular ones I'm obsessed with but just sometimes like to give my hair a wee bit extra TLC so once twice a month I will use some form of hair mask the rest of the product I'm going to show you just now I've been using this for coming up on two years so this is the Balmain leave-in conditioner and I have quite like I said naturally curly hair so it's not curly it's just got a wave to it so I really need this to like detang then I like to part my hair I'm going to show you this part this side of my brush with the bristles because it's not cute um, but this is the Denman brush and I find this really good at just brushing out any tugs just start from the bottom and then work your way up this doesn't pull on your hair which is really good now that my hair is all brushed out and I'm looking really really cute, I then use the Nioxin Scalp Treatment. This is the number three which is for fine hair. I have fine hair but a lot of it, that's how it's been described to me by hairdressers in the past. Um, so yeah, this is just a scalp treatment so I go along my parting. Make sure you don't get this like on your actual face guys. I've had that happen before and it's like not burnt my face but made a mark on my face isn't great and then I just kind of pull bits of my hair apart. I used to actually use the Nioxin shampoo um, but then I used to find it was actually a bit too minty for my head um, and was too tingly and almost made like my shivers cold. I don't use that every time I wash my hair, I usually use that once a week. And then to finish I put some sort of oil through my hair. Right now I'm using the Olaplex Bonding Oil, I really really like this one. Um, I either switch between this or my Moroccan oil in my hands and then take it all the way through my ends. I just did my skincare off camera guys because I thought rather than doing it in this video and this video being 100 years long, um, I would save it for part of next week's vlog. So I'll just stick with the hair care to end this week's video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this vlog. I'm thinking I won't do weekly vlogs every single week. Most weeks I'll try and do like a weekly vlog which will be quite a few days of the week. But other days I'm thinking I might do just like spend a Saturday with me or like spend a Sunday with me or something like that. Um, just to break it up so it's more like daily vlogs and weekly vlogs if that makes sense so yeah let me know if you like the idea of that yeah as always thank you so much for the support it does not go unnoticed and the lovely messages i've received like makes my day every single time i can't thank you guys enough um yeah i'm gonna stop rambling end this video and i will see you in the next one really, really soon